All right, everything's recording. Hopefully. Are you ready? Are you ready? I think so. Do you want me to? Do you want me to give a go with my introduction? Yeah, go on then. Let's have it. I've got. To, I've got to get my deep voice going. Okay. From the makers of Prison Architect comes Prison Architect multiplayer. Play with your mates, your friends, your pals, your gang, your crew, your oppos, your buddies, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Because girls play games too. But wait! <laughs> if you've got a girlfriend or a boyfriend and they're willing to have sex with you, what are you doing playing Prison Architect? Go and have sex with them. And then play post-coital prison architect multiplayer. Play with one person. Play with ten. Play with a hundred. Massively multiplayer online real-time prison architect battle royale. Actually, it's eight players max, sorry. For a limited time, don't interrupt. For a limited time. Huge robots will build every multiplayer prison in real life in China. <laughs> Opt into the prison architect multiplayer now. And Steve! See? I don't think we need to do a video now, mate. Well done. Did you like it? That was very good. That, that that's, that's, come, that's, that's what you get your money for, man. That's where you earn your salary. So what does Mark do? That is what I do. <laughs> that was really good. Did you see the double eleven escape mode trailer for yeah. escape mode on the console? That was pretty good. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pretty Not good. as good as that. Isn't it? Yeah, no, they're, they're on a whole other level, those guys. Prison Architect multiplayer. I know, I know, right? How did this come about? I think we should probably, like, actually do some multiplayer, shouldn't we, while we talk? How did this let's, come about, mate? You, you tell, me, tell me the origin of multiplayer, because it's all your fault, isn't it? Yeah, it was my idea. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, was it my idea? It was John's idea. And, and then, uh, because you always say no to all of my suggestions, and, you know, you like to make up reasons why <laughs> they can't be done. <laughs> Look at these tits. I... <laughs> <laughs> I told them to build a sensible fucking prison. Right. <laughs> and they're just waving their dicks around in multiplayer. All right, carry on. Yeah, sorry, I was interrupting your story. Yeah, so, a bit so I said to Finley, I said to Finley at Rezd this year, when we were showing off um, Order of Magnitude, I said, like, Finley, could we do multiplayer? Mm. And he went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he explained how to do it. That's not how I remember then, it, but carry on. And then I bypassed you, and you found out about this yesterday. Johnny Finley's led the team. Finley's doing this. Where yeah, have you well, been today? This, oh, I've, I've been on holiday, actually. I've been, that's where I've been. I've been in Iceland. It's been nice. It's cold out there, you know, cold and rainy. What, even the, in the summer? Yeah, I know. It's surprising. They're having an unusually cold summer in Iceland. And it's very cold and rainy at the moment. Um, but that aside... There is yes, some, there is, there is some Serious. truth. There's some truth to what you say, isn't there? Which is basically that, um, you just, you. I remember you asking us, at that, at the, <clears throat> you know, is this, is this going to be possible? And I remember trying to convince Finley that it wouldn't be possible because we knew Finley was going to be the guy kind of doing like the main technology behind it. Because Finley, for those that don't know or remember or care anything about the internals of introversion, Finley is kind of responsible for escape mode in Prison Architect initially, wasn't he? Yes. Um, and then after that, he did multiplayer virtual reality DEF CON, yeah, VR, right? yeah. which is when a lot of that multiplayer tech, this is the, the similar, similar tech under the, under the hood, you know, or under the bonnet, if you're from the UK. United Kingdom, yeah. We're yeah. going to need to say bonnet after Brexit, aren't we, mate? We're not going to be able to use these foreign words. Yeah, I don't know if it makes any difference to that, mate. What is the, what is the EU rule on bonnets versus hoods? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I've got one. Sort of gone. Yeah, we so, won't be no longer will we be constrained by it. Next yeah. Year. Um, so um, I remember thinking that because we've had some experience in the past, haven't we, of grafting multiplayer onto games that really aren't multiplayer? Yes. And um, that experience has not always been a positive one. 
Would you agree? I would agree. So I was just like <laughs> sipping my wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, it's. Uh, but this has been an entirely positive experience. This has been an awesome experience. Yeah. I did, honestly, I honestly, genuinely didn't think this was going to be possible because you know it's a six-year-old project. You know, I mean, probably 2010 when I started programming. So yeah. yeah. And it's had it's a it's a big game and there's a lot to it. Um, and you know, there's absolutely zero multiplayer support in the game as of about uh, three or four months ago or something. Um, <clears throat> and so we've sort of bootstrapped the whole thing in. So to explain what we're seeing, if it's not been obvious, these are other players, right? Here's Leander, El Diablo. Yeah, okay. And uh, here's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's yeah. Finley. <clears throat> Finley's the, the, the main man, I think it's fair to say, behind multiplayer. Um, Why is he FCEXB? What, I don't what know. That, You've got to ask. That That's some what, millennial he's, thing. He's fucking mean? young, isn't he? It's like it means something that we don't, and some some reference that we don't get. You know, it's probably uh, his bank balance in hex. <laughs> 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 and there's Andrew Lim over here, and here's Gary. Where's Gary. He? Gary's yeah. been with us forever, basically. Oh, there he is, um, the ice pick. Yeah, yeah, ice picking around. Um, and they can see me in the same way, embodied in the same way. So this is kind of. You know, we're not really embodied as people, but we can see what they're looking at, you know, by that these cursors represent what they're currently viewing on their screen. Um, are they placeholder? Yes, they are placeholder because this is only because... multiplayer one, right? And yeah, we'll get to yeah. that in a second. This is not fully finished multiplayer. This is our yeah. first attempt at multiplayer. I, um, I, you know, I know I scare you when I ask if things are placeholder play, yeah, play yeah, because often I think you were going to go, well, they weren't until well, you just asked me. Yeah, <laughs> it's often the worst thing you can say, isn't it? You know, I'm, I'm assuming that this is all placeholder, all this art. Yeah, you know, yeah all this placeholder All this art. 2D shit. What the hell is all this? So, well, no, actually, this is the game. Um, and I think it would be great to put our faces in, you know? You know, like our... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, face in the game, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Our names in the game. That's so all, all idea, these people mate. have got faces, you know. Who, who, yeah, yeah. You know. Fingers. Yeah, brilliant. There's <laughs> Andrew Lim and stuff. They, we could certainly use the face. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. And then, you know, a lot of other people paid for name in the game and they sort of, they designed their face from a set of templates so we could use that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we could let people put their own icons in, I guess. Uh, obviously, yeah. you'd, obviously, you'd have to put with part, logging into a game and seeing an awful effects, lot of penises they? very quickly, wouldn't you? We'd have, yeah, we'd have all sorts of horrible things. Yeah. Massively well, multiplayer online, real time. Well, we'd have penises. We'd power. have an awful lot of penises, wouldn't we? And probably well, we're going to get a lot of penises, huge, aren't we? A huge Whatever. amount of hate speech, I imagine, as well, showing up yeah. in icons. But yeah. we're going to get that anyway in people's usernames, so there's nothing mm -hmm. we can do about it. Um, there's, uh, so you can also see that as well as seeing the, what they're looking at, you can actually see what they're doing as well, you know? So it's dancing around a little bit, but, uh, you know, so if I, if I pick something like a room, say a storage room, and start dragging it out like that, I just see what you normally see in the game. Um, but yeah. other players experience that as these sort of curved cursors that are coming out from their, from their little round circle, um, yeah, showing okay. them doing stuff, right? So you can kind of get a sense of what people are doing in the game, you know, just by, just so by eyeballing it. Leander there, El Diablo, yes. is that planning mode that he's used or is that to, to, to draw uh, that on there or is yeah. that his design, is that how it's rendering to us? That is planning mode, I mean? yes, he's, drawn, yeah, all, he's okay. drawn all that in planning mode, I don't know why he drew it all in planning mode but he did, somebody drew the words high on the floor because you know, there's, yeah. there's no in-game chat so without any in-game chat people are going to draw you know, hate speech on the floor repeatedly obviously. High is probably as nice as it gets. Probably, he probably hasn't probably. finished yet. He hasn't written the rest of the letters to the name yet. But who knows? <laughs> um, well, I guess it's a good idea because then you can kind of see, you know, yeah. you're demarking your territory. Right? So look, I'm going to I'm going to build this yeah, over here. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not a bad idea at all. I mean, you can. It's it's always been there. It's always been a nice way to plan out what you're doing. You know, like there's one of the nice things about Prison Architect, isn't it? That some players use this obsessively before they build anything yes yeah yeah, you know? yeah. and before they dare uh, lay down any actual building um but other people don't bother I, I don't really use it very much but other people use it loads um and so um you know it's all all multiplayer synchronized which i think is kind of magic you know yes <clears throat> it's good isn't it yeah now finley's just realizing that we don't have an accountant on the team um and so we can't hire any more staff <laughs> I'll let the guys work out how to fix that whilst we're demonstrating things. Yeah, so, so uh, at the moment, um, it's co-op. 
basically. Yes. The, 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 I guess we should explain, shouldn't we, the plan here. So um, we're going to be updating multiplayer over the next few months, uh, and it will take us as long as it takes us. So this really is for the brave at the moment, uh, yes. you know, to go in. And, and if people are interested in playing, you know, multiplayer prison architect, then, then we'll look at extending it in all, all different ways. So at the moment, this is very much functional right you've just got the same plot of land the same amount of money to start off with yeah it's just rather than you building the prison on your own your mates are in there as well that's right yeah it's cooperative multiplayer and it is the rule that we basically set ourselves is is um the minimum standard at which we'd be willing to release it publicly you know so yeah. um you 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 can join games and leave games and that all works reliably we hope but part of this is obviously a test we've never been able to test it beyond sort of 10 people um, so you know it'll get a test from now on, but it's very much on a it's very much on the test branch. Like you have to go to the test branch and say I want to be part of this, um, mm-hmm. because you know we anticipate quite a lot of uh, niggly problems, no doubt, um, and it only really works for a cooperative like vanilla Prism Architect. So there's no mod support. You can't run multiplayer server with any mods at the moment. Right. Um, right. And there are quite a lot of features in the game that don't work as well. Uh, so if I go to reports, for example, down the bottom right, you just get this screen that says it's only available for the host player. So at the moment, nice. there's millions of screens in Prison Architect, right? This is part of the problem. Yeah. After after five years of development and what was it, 50, 50 monthly updates that we've done? You know, before Something like that, at least. version one. And, and, you keep changing the uh, you know the naming convention. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we had know. we had alphas for a while. And I think we got up to like. I don't know, 40 or something. And then we had version yeah. one and then we did updates. And then we had version two and we're still doing updates. This is update 16, I think. Um, so we have 50 odd updates worth of content, you know, and there's no universal solution that just makes it all work in multiplayer. We're just having to go through each system um, and make it work in multiplayer. So um, all the core construction systems work just fine. Um, but, uh, well, these things are locked anyway uh, because we don't have them unlocked. But so things like deployment and logistics and intelligence, a lot of those features of the game are not yet synchronized. The reports aren't synchronized. Like I said earlier, mods are not synchronized. Um, right. We yep. have a working to-do list so we can kind of have assignments. Um, so I think the host, Finley, did give us a couple of grants that we're working towards, basic detention center and administrative center. So you sort of know what people are working on. Um, but beyond that, we don't have any uh, we don't have any like, ability to communicate or anything like that. I think I've realised what's happened. The guys forgot to turn on unlimited money, is what happened, and now they're out of money and they can't build anything anymore. They're stupid idiots, right? Nah, what what did we tell them? The right? What did we fucking tell them before this video began? Huh? Huh? Turn on. I think you're so Come clever, on, boy. You Come on. Whose fault is that? <laughs> Yeah, so Antic games. But you know, you get the impression that you I mean you can you can actually build things very quickly when there's like three or four people all working together. Um yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. assuming you have unlimited money, unlike what we have here, and we're all blocked waiting for money. Um So if this is this I'm right in thinking as well that at the moment this is just for Steam users, right? Until we're a little uh, no, bit happier. No, that's no. Uh, uh, mm, uh, interesting. Uh, I don't know. No, well, no. We have vanilla builds of the game. Um, we okay. Know, we know we have. So we have we have working. This is not tied to Steam's networking in any way. Um, right. We're using Photon behind the scenes, which is a sort of cross-platform multiplayer system. Um, we used it previously in DefCon VR. Um, for multiplayer, and we've used it a couple of other times as well in stuff that we never released. So, um, uh, so, <laughs> angry face. so um, <laughs> that's not tied to Steam at all. Um, so at the moment, the Steam builds are the ones that will go out first, um, and then yeah. the vanilla non-Steam builds. Will, you know, we're not planning to hold them back or anything. I think we want as much testing as we can get. Um, so uh, you won't have to be connected to Steam. And then eventually we'll integrate things like Steam's Steam's got nice matchmaking features like you can click on your friends in Steam and say, yeah, I want to join his game, you know, just from within Steam. And it fires up prison, fires up the game in question and connects automatically. Um, yeah, we don't yeah. support any of that yet, but we will eventually. So it'll be nice. And is it is it PC, Mac and Linux? Is it cross nicely cross platform in that way? Uh... This is what happens when you go on holiday. <laughs> it's PC and Mac. It's definitely PC right. and Mac. Oh. Guys, because you've got any money, can you draw the platforms? 
using the <laughs> uh, using the planning tool because you've only got seven dollars left in your bank. Yeah, tell us so which get, platforms it's supported, Bon. So I want to see an apple and a penguin <laughs> and a and a broken They're all window. Sat there. They're all sat there and a broken window. Yeah. They don't know what to do. They don't, maybe they can't even hear us anymore. Who knows? This is Who knows? classic intrusion. Who knows? Oh, one of them is attempting to draw something. I think that is supposed to be a window. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that Thanks, Gary. Awful. Who's that? Is no, that it's an apple. I think it's an apple. Is it an apple? I think it's meant to be an apple. Don't forget the bite. You've got to get the poisonous oh, yeah, bite. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely an apple, but they need yeah. a bite out of it. Yeah. Well done, well done. Okay, so we've got apple. The poison bite. Is that true? Is that a myth? Is that true that Apple's, Apple, the original Apple logo was like a rainbow-coloured apple, wasn't it? And it was supposed to be the apple that um, uh, Alan Turing poisoned himself with. I don't know if that was true or not. Well, I don't know. It doesn't sound very true to me. If you were going to do that, then wouldn't you tell everybody that? I don't know. Wouldn't you say this, this is why my Well, it's a bit you know, grim, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit grim for a company icon. I mean, they got rid of the think was, they got rid of the multicolored poison effect, didn't they? Years later, and made it all silver and shiny. I think it was probably just because Steve Jobs wanted to make computers friendly, right? Yeah, and just made it an apple. And he and he thought an apple was quite a friendly and innocuous kind of thing. Yeah. What? Yeah, and think, then the internet came. Right, on. You have a guess about what you think that is. <laughs> Looks like Firefox. Is it running Firefox? <laughs> I think this is meant to be the, I think this is ago. this is the Windows icon I think taking shape in front of us. It looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> what are they doing? Look, they're programmers, all right? What is this that? is not the introversion art team, is it? We're asking too much of them. All right. This is pretty good what, pixel what? art for uh, Oh, for is that is that the win- Yeah, That's I think the win- it's the Windows logo, isn't yeah. it? You're right. <laughs> Apple uh, Gary actually did the bite on the wrong side of the Apple logo. That's how much disdain yeah. Gary has for Apple. All right. The bite is on the wrong side, Gary. All right. I haven't seen any penguins yet, so I think we'll have to assume that uh, Linux is out for now. Johnny's probably already working on that. Yeah, I mean, we'll get there in the end. I mean, the thing is that there's there's loads to Prison Architect. If you think about all the different modes in the game that we've added throughout the years, you know, there's escape mode, obviously. There's warden mode. Yeah. There's all the mod support that we've done. There's a whole bunch of different features that exist in the game, none of which are currently multiplayer which will be if we continue work on multiplayer. I mean, to some extent, we are testing the waters, aren't we? Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, it's just yeah. like the, the original alpha with Prison Architect. If the uh, the players want Prison Architect multiplayer, we, we'll deliver it to them. You know, this is a test. This is a, a kind of tech demo. Mm-hmm. Um, it will be fun. It's all working, you know. But if you want full Prison Architect, then let's do it. And full escape mode, you know, that could be cool. Let's do that. You know, what changes are we going to are we gonna make? Mm. Um who knows? You know, we're as always, as we've always been. We're going to be led by, led by the community. That yeah, means you guys. Absolutely. Well, we've had we've had a lot of crazy ideas about what we could do with multiplayer in Prison Architect, but we're not going to talk about them now because that could be construed a promise. It could, it could, <laughs> and let it not be construed a promise. Um, have we got anything else to show? But not, not really, mate. Not really. No, we did, we did, we sneaked out an update. Um, update. This is update sixteen, and we sneaked out an update That's fifteen. Because right. um, you went on holiday. Because yeah, you don't care anymore. Partly You're just phoning it in. Yeah, partly. <laughs> partly that's it. Partly we, if you remember, in update fourteen, we were doing a bunch of escapes stuff, like people climbing yes, over walls. Not and to be things. confused with escape mode. This yeah. was a little bit unfortunate timing. Escape mode, as in mm. running around, beating up guards, stealing money, breaking out of your prison, first person stuff, mm. is now available on xbox and uh playstation we did updates to prisoner escape behaviors within the sandbox didn't we yeah that's right um and there are a few things that we just didn't quite get finished um we uh we knew that we were going on to multiplayer we i mean all all of our team has basically moved on to multiplayer because that's how big a job it's been um and but we had a few things left with that escape work that we just didn't quite finish for update 14 um so we have barbed wire now that we can add to any fence or any wall. Um, it's just one of the things that you can build and you can request it like this. Um, it works on any fence or any wall and it makes it far less likely that prisoners will attempt to climb over the fence at that point because there's barbed right. wire on top. Uh, if they do climb over, they'll get nasty sort of laceration bleeding wounds um, and they'll bleed oh, out. Um, and it just gives you another massive medical emergency to deal with. You know, if you, yeah. When they get knocked down from the fence... Um, they bleed out on the ground and die, and then you end up in the Nasty. world of yeah, in the world of like you've had too many deaths. You know, oh, our first prisoners are yeah. arriving. Cool. Um, 
The other thing that we added, which I'm not going to try and demonstrate, uh, well, uh, yes, so also trees like these at the end, right? These trees are a liability um, because they're, they're right next to the outer fence. Um, yeah. So if prisoners can get to these trees, I mean, they're actually outside the front gates. These ones aren't too bad. But if you had a tree that was kind of... Uh, let's see, I don't know, we, can't, we don't have any groundskeeping on lock. I think there was. If you had a tree like right at the bottom where you were putting in the. Oh, yeah. At the bottom yeah, where you go. just put the um, barbed wire in, yeah, because yeah, I was so going to ask you about putting it around this the is, tree. This is a hoppable fence point. This, these trees make mm. it easier to go over this fence. And if it was a wall, it would be even easier again. Um, it's just the same. They, just cl they climb up the tree and then go over the edge. Uh, that's how it basically works. So you can see. So you could use a little bit of barbed wire around there, and and that would sort of help you out a bit. It makes it harder, but the better option is to just to cut the trees down, um, yeah, and yeah. thereby understand why there are no trees in prisons ever anywhere near mm -hmm. the edges. Mm -hmm. um, and so further dehumanising your prison a little bit further by getting rid of any greenery. I think we'll think of a reason why grass is bad next. You know, yeah, so, so yeah. you have to have a sort of paved concrete tarmac floor. Um, you know, just to maximise maximize that feeling uh, of being in a horrible place dehumanized yeah absolutely man-made <laughs> constructed built environment <laughs> depriving one of his liberty yeah um the other thing that we did um is we did these things i want to leave it a little bit a, a little bit mysterious i don't actually want to demonstrate it but vehicles outside the front of your prison are now also a liability um oh, okay so prisoners here aren't allowed out into this open area but i have seen prisons where prisoners are freely allowed to walk across the road um to other facilities on the other side or whatever and it just looks kind of wrong to me and it doesn't seem right that they would just be able to hop across the road uh, like that um when there's loads of cars coming by and drivers and civilians and front gates and everything um so now we've made it so that the vehicles themselves are a bit, little bit of a liability um and i think i'm going to leave that there Except to say that there is another object called, is, is Leander demonstrating for me, uh, the road barrier, um, which looks like this. And it's a very heavy metal gate that you can build across your, um, across your road. Um, and most of the time it's down and doesn't really do anything. Um, but if you press your emergency lockup button, it will slam upwards and thereby stop right. any vehicles from passing. How about that for an oh, explanation? Oh, I see. It's, it's in the ground. I yeah, get it. it's, I get it. it's, it's in the ground. It's a, it's a it barrier that goes underground and it slams upwards when you press your lockup button. The lockup button is not visible here because we're not the server. So that's another of those features uh, that okay. is only available on the server. Um, but you were right and I was wrong. I didn't think it was going to be possible. And yet here we are. You know, here we go. Update here 16, we go. 50 so, odd updates into the prison architect process talking about multiplayer. Prison Architect multiplayer. Go and get it now and enjoy it. Uh, the other thing that has happened this month is that Prison Architect is now available for Switch. So if you want to, yeah, amazing. Double Eleven again, uh, pulled out all the stops. Nintendo featured it in uh, the Nindies video, which was um, mm. really, really cool. So if you want to play Prison Architect on the move or even not on the move when you've plugged your Switch in, and disconnected your Joy-Cons, you now can. And it's full Prison Architect with everything that Prison Architect does. Uh, no multiplayer yet, but let's see what happens. Um, I think that's about all we have for you this month. Please put your comments underneath. We like to read them. And uh, they give us inspiration for what to do next. Excellent.